What can we do now that we're coming out of COVID? Where can we direct our energies in, into things that will give us even more energy? Yeah. You know, what are some things, for example, my wife really loves to cook meals for people who, you know, maybe they have an illness or they're, they're embattled in some way and they need that. That looks like a lot of work to me. <laughs> She's like, no, it's not work to me. And, and it's, it's fun and I get a lot of satisfaction from it and it gives me more energy than I started out with. If we could look to those things, we might find that we can give a lot more than we thought because in, in giving those things, we get so much energy from it. I think it's kind of a cliche to say, well, I, I, you know, I, I volunteer because I get so much more out of it. But that's true for a lot of people, that's especially true. especially the volunteer type who need to give, yeah, right? Like right. there's there's receiving that comes from it. I don't think all sorts of like giving is necessarily altruistic. I think right. it's more so is it filling a void and a need in yourself and does it offer something of benefit to someone else? A absolutely. And I think it's okay if it's fun. Yeah, it's right. okay if you like it. <laughs> I, I grew up from, you know, my parents were Midwestern and Lutheran and it was like, if you're having fun, you might be doing something wrong naughty mm. you know that was sort of the, the the ethos if you listen to prairie home companion yeah. in those old episodes it's totally true yeah. you know you can feel guilty for enjoying things but well, that, even that term guilty pleasure yeah like ple there's something wrong with pleasure right and i think what you're saying is find the thing that brings you pleasure yeah. and tune into that whatever that is Play right writing cooking talking leading yeah, tune into your strengths. What is that for you? A absolutely. So I would say that's the one thing. Play to your strengths and, and good things will happen. And not just focus on all your deficiencies mm -hmm. and all the ways that you're not measuring up. Focus on what you're good at, what you want to get better at, what you enjoy doing. That's where you're going to find that flow. That's where you're going you're gonna to achieve something that not only that you're proud of, that probably other people will take notice of too and say, thank you yeah. for doing that. Thank you for writing that book. Thank you for doing that podcast.